Hello all you beautiful people. For today's video, we'll be looking at what options are available when starting a new colony. You can choose survival or no sweat. Now, what this means is they basically change the game's difficulty settings from the second easiest in no sweat to the default setting, which is in the middle as survival mode except for some reason durability isn't at default. Now from default you can go two tiers to the left as well as two to the right. Right all the way being the most difficult and left all the way being the easiest. And what this means is for your hunger, duplicants on a default setting will eat 1000 kilocalories of food each cycle. You can decrease that amount by 500 each time where they could essentially eat no food at all or you could increase that by 500 up to 2000 per cycle to make it pretty difficult as for durability your duplicates will be able to wear suits and masks and these will wear out over time now the setting will affect how quickly it wears out and will need to be repaired you get stress reactions when your duplicate stress reaches a high point at which they then react and their stress then falls back down to 60. You have sandbox mode which enables you to edit in-game um, which is essentially great for doing tests and things. Diseases, you can adjust how, that, how strong diseases are to affect your duplicates over here which is okay, there are many ways to deal with diseases, so we're not too concerned about that. Morale adjusts the minimum amount of morale duplicates must have in order to avoid gaining stress. Now each time they choose a skill, that'll increase the morale requirements they need. So naturally, the more morale they need, the less skills they'll be able to get. Stress also affects how often the duplicates can get stressed out. Essentially, at cloud 9, the duplicants have a plus, uh, sorry, a minus 20% to their stress each day, which gives them quite a buffer to do all kinds of silly things before they actually get any sort of accumulated stress. On max stress, they actually get a plus 20% uh, stress each cycle, which means you have to find ways to relieve that stress. Usually the right way to do it is to balance it with a high morale and then to keep their skills low enough uh, or do something like put up a nature reserve hmm. that's it for the settings next up we can look at the available asteroids over here there are essentially a whole bunch and each one has different starting biomes which will affect your survival chance going from ideal to probable, likely, moderate, marginal and then slim survival. It does make for an interesting challenge and affects the way you generally have a starting strategy but essentially speaking no matter, no matter what asteroid you start on around mid game the game tends to become more open and you tend to be able to do pretty much whatever you'd like. Each planet, start, apart from the starting asteroid, also has specific world traits, specific to the coordinates, which you can change before you start your game. So remember, once it's set and you hit start, that is going to be the world you start off in. Generally, I like a geoactive world, as the more geezers allow you a lot lot more versatility with the kind of builds that you incorporate into your colony yeah so that's about it cool guys if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment or send me an email as for that I'd like to thank you for your time feel free to check out any of our other tutorials or follow along on our play along series for oxygen not included for now bye bye